it was the Lake Erie bloom in 2014 when Toledo's water supply was shut down. That, that was really the trigger point when attention really started to be paid to these toxic algal blooms. And out here in the Midwest, I'm in Iowa in the middle of farm country, we have toxic algal blooms every year in some of the major reservoirs right around where I live in Ames, Iowa. So between Toledo and what we were seeing in our own backyard, we started to look much more closely at what the implications of these blooms are for people. And it's pretty scary. It's these these um, not really algae, their formal name is cyanobacteria, but what makes them really unique is they produce this suite of really potent toxins that can range from just a sore throat and a headache to respiratory paralysis and long-term liver damage and cancer. And they, um, and we're not testing for them. 